If I started off throwing that spinner bait and it just wasn't wasn't cutting it. So I figured, you know what, let me try something that's gonna make a little bit more noise and seems like it's working a little bit. I like a darker color one as well when the water's dark the way it is. Now this isn't terribly dark, but let's see if we got on, we're on to something here. You can't beat the combination of sound and vibration. Yeah, you, the, their lateral lines can detect that, that vibration and that sound when they can't see because of the turbidity in the water. That's a good fish. You did that quietly there, Bubba. <laughs> you're, you're like almost breaking my arm. It's a good quality smallie. It really is. It's not bad at all. I mean, it's 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 nice. It's nice to come out here when the whole state's blown up because of all the high water. That's it. We the had whole to come as far west as we could. Blown up. And we still got some dark water, but we're catching fish. Play baby. Yes. When do you know the two and a half hour drive was worth it? <laughs> Around the six or seventh good fish. Oh yeah. Let's do more. Let's do more. I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, quit it. Go. Go. Do I need to keep saying it? Is this a good enough reason to try and figure out how to maneuver a boat and how to fish in high water, in rising water? Outstanding. Eighteen? A big heavy eighteen too, man. Whew. That is a sweet bass right there. <laughs> they love getting me wet. They just love getting me wet. Woo! Some good fish, man. Good fish in good high chocolate water, man. <laughs>